Our human brain remembers only 10% of what we read, 20% of what we hear, but 80% of what we visualize and see. That's why here I am here to present Notion Agents 3.0, which are completely revolutionized how we write notes and visualize them. I'm going to start this video with two important quotes by Demis Hassabis, who is the leader in AI and CEO of Google DeepMind. He said that, that AI tools are so powerful, only those have leverage who actually understand them. And number two, my favorite quote, it's actually that in a world where you have so much to learn, so much to learn in AI, and so much content you consume, learning how to learn becomes one of the most important skills of 2025. I'm going to show you my entire roadmap of how I write notes, how in a visual format I consume notes so I remember more and retain more of my second brain thanks to Notion Agents 3.0. So let's start with like, you know, my student life right now. I'm studying like, you know, Spanish, Chinese, and I love learning languages. I'm going to show you not just computer science knowledge, how I break down, but also real life knowledge as well. So let's start with my Notion homepage. This is my Notion homepage, but something special is with Notion AI, you can see this chat window. This is not the same anymore. It's not like Claude OpenAI. You will see it looks like that. No, in here, you can actually add context from all of your notes. I can add my Spanish notes, let's say. It, you can search them, you can add it, or my Chinese notes. I will show you a lot about it. I can add my second brain in my motivation folder. In my motivation folder, all that content I consume, if I show you my motivation folder, all the content I consume, all in podcasts, real ideas, all the videos I've watched, for example, Mark Zuckerberg's podcasts I've watched, I, I've read some books, they are in my book reading section, all the books I've read, I have little, like some bullet points, for example, 33 Laws of CEO by like, you know, Stephen Barlett, all the books I've read, I have like chapter wise written summary and written content that I can actually present in front of you. So. This becomes so easy because in the world of AI, whether it's the CEO of Shopify or it's Andre Karpati leaders in the space of AI, they talk about context engineering is important. Now, thanks to Notion, all the context is right here. If I go back to my Notion AI homepage, I can add context. I have more leverage, more customized context the way I like. And here I can not just now have access to my notes, but also external apps. For example, my Notion email is connected. When you click on connect apps, my emails are connected. And the power you get with this leverage, I'm gonna show you in detail in this video. Let's start with my simple workflow of, let's say a class, or let's say today you go to any event, conference, podcast, or even let's say my Spanish class I go to. I'm gonna show you my Spanish class notes. Today I went to Spanish class and I wrote notes, just like few bullet points in unorganized way. They were absolutely, you know, not beautiful. I would not like to go and read it. Now what with Notion AI I did, I just did Command J, which is the shortcut, or you can go to the bottom right corner, hit that button and you can invoke the AI and make it beautiful. You can convert it to toggles, which is same as flashcards. You can actually remove, for example, this Notion AI categorized counting as cardinal numbers. I don't, I already know numbers in Spanish, so I don't care about it. What I can do is I can ask it, hey, remove the flashcards for numbers. Just only focus on the new words or complicated words. And in the end, it's a beautiful, like concise notes of the things I should actually remember in the form of flashcard. These toggles are basically flashcards because I can close and open them. That's what the power of Notion AI is. Not just this, now I'm gonna create a database. I go to a new page, create a database with all my Spanish notes. It creates a database with mnemonics, translation, and example. This way I can actually remember all the phrases for my exam in Spanish or even Chinese I'm learning in an easier way because I have a database gathered from whole notebook of Spanish. Just don't forget that whole notebook is like 10 pages. Whole notebook of Spanish into one database where you can have all the vocab. It could be specific information you want, move from one place to another with something you can trust with Notion AI. Let's move on. I'm gonna show you more powerful things in this video. Next, I'm gonna show you how you personalize how notes are written. So I go back to my Notion AI homepage. Here you see on the top right, a personalize button. In personalize, I call my agent Sings Agent. You can personalize it. And in the instruction, you can put like, you know, emoji on it. But the, in the, but the real thing is in the instructions, you can customize the way you want agent to behave. Here I wanna show you something really important. In the instruction, you can 
set your AI how it should actually write for you. Like sidekick, minimalism, analyst, you can browse templates such as educational, creative, your personal AI. What I personally, like all these templates are free. What I personally love is that I can create my own rules and the level of customization you can get it is insane. So for example, if you're Gen Z, you can choose Gen Z. You can, it'll use like words like cooked or riz. But I personally like my favorite, which is analyst. And what I did was I went to analyst and then I created my own called sings analyst. And in this, I've added my own instructions. So in the chat interaction, I've added an instruction when sharing links. So let's say I share a link with it because I read a lot of research papers. Whenever I share a research paper link or any link, create structured notes, write in visual format. Visual is the key because I like to memorize as mind maps. I'm gonna show you how, how to visualize, how to make it concise and visualize. So visual format, emphasizing on the bigger picture as well as the smaller text. Takeaways. So this is the key I'm going to show you. I just typed it. Now I'm going to, let's say, go back to my AI issues. Here I'm going to add a page. Let's say add a page. Here I'm going to paste and use this research paper called Tracing the Thoughts of Large Language Model. I'm going to go to that paper. It's like 20, 30 pages. It's like really, really long. You can keep on scrolling. Of course, it has some visuals, but you won't understand it easily and in a concise way because our mind if you know the few broad points you need to care about, let's say if, if there's a book with 33 points, you will not remember 33 points. But if you know five big picture points, you will remember. So concise is the key. There's an important quote here again by Albert Einstein. Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. So big picture is important. But it should not be that simple that there is only one takeaway that you say that, oh, from this book, I learned one thing. It should be simple enough, but not way too simple. In the AI, I'm going to paste this research paper link in Notion and I don't need to say anything. I'll just paste it because in the system prompt, it, know how, it knows how to handle it. So it's going to do the magic. And it's writing the paper for on the biology of large language model. And it's finding the major find it's it's finding major findings and multi-step reasoning, smaller bullet points. It's not just sim summary. It's my custom way of summary. So that the three takeaways, three big takeaways are mentioned on top, and the minor details are mentioned right below it. So I like to see the big picture first and then smaller minute details. You can customize the prompt the way you want to. This is not it. Here, now, once you have created this, you can ask it to create a database just like we did and assign it to your teammates. So what I can do is turn it into like, you know, you have so many options, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use AI. I'm going to say command J, turn it into a visual database and assign some parts of building this in Python to my teammates. So if you're building a project, you can assign, let's say if you want to like take any research paper, this is such a fun project, take research paper, make a coding project out of it, assign it to teammates. And now it's gonna create a database out of it and it's gonna be so easy to manage your project. Now it just went ahead, organized that paper into smaller tasks so that you can implement it. And now next step is you can actually select, create a database, create tables the way you want to. The level of customizations you get is infinite. Now I want to emphasize on art more than the tool here itself because art is very important. Let's say I read a book or let's say I write a lot of notes. For example, in my book reading, there is a book called 33 Laws of CEO. So there are like 33 chapters, 33 bullet points I've made. and I wouldn't be able to remember 33 points, but what you can do is the art here is you can go in this page, ask the AI. So command J, I'm going to say, make a visual mind map with broader takeaways and details below it. So I can retain in my visual memory. Now what it's going to do is it's going to create my mind map and it's creating that graph just stay tuned now what it does is it creates the graph for mermaid style i can copy you can see this text is mermaid you can put any code if you want to i love this this is the fastest way to create some of your mind maps you can copy this and go to mermaid.live 
Just paste it there and mind map is ready right in front of your eyes. You paste it, click on this broad button. Now there were 33 laws, 33 laws, which I will hardly remember. I can make it into categories that I need to think of. So number one categories is communication influence. Communication is the key if you want to be CEO. Number two is mental models and psychology. You need to know, know about that. And then executive, executive and action. And then when you go below it, there are principles under each category. So if, if someone asked me, what did you learn from that book? Then there are four broad topics I can mention from that mind map. I told, told you about execution and like, failure, strategy. And then if someone wants about the details, you can go below it, like cognitive dissonance. This is one of the strategy the book talks about. Stereotype effect. So all of these things can be visualized when you draw it by hand or actually see it right in front of your eyes within a few seconds. Because if I want to do it by hand, it'll take me minutes to hours. Next, I'm going to show you something even cooler. Building databases, building these, you know, mind maps, that's really easy. But storing in Notion with unlimited memory for free is insane. That's why I have never paid for Notion till now. Just for AI, I've started to pay. There are two plans they offer. Number one is the $10 one. So in that $10 plan, you can get trial version of AI. It has limits, but it could be, could be sufficient for minor changes. But if you want Unlimited AI usage, you can go for the business plan, which is $20 per month. Depends on your use case, but I think if you want to go faster, AI is definitely increasing productivity. The way I'm able to like, you know, skim my Spanish and Chinese notes, the number of flashcards, I, you just saw it, the speed is infinite. Let me show you next cool feature with Notion AI. I'm going to connect my app to my email. So if you go to connect apps, you can see my Notion mail is connected. You can connect to Google Drive, GitHub, Gmail, Linear, so many apps, Jira, because it's one of the number one project management tool as well. But I'm going to focus on my email. So go to my email and, and fetch last 10 emails from my favorite newsletter. So all my newsletters are in this email that I've connected. So I'm going to ask it to fetch that newsletter. And coolest thing what's going to happen is from the newsletter, it creates content strategy. It, it is so cool that, you know, from the newsletter, which is like a whole page newsletter, for example, in this newsletter, it has four categories, date, subject, creator angle, which is important because I mentioned I'm a creator, ideas and hooks for the video. And if you click the link, it's going to take me to Notion Mail and it's loading, loading. And here you will see the email where I actually have that newsletter right in front of me. Notion Mail is again amazing. I interviewed Akshay Kathari, you know, talking about Notion Mail, which you can watch the podcast. But here the important thing is that newsletter, which I miss reading, all the key takeaways are right here. Trends are here. So I can say that, okay, the hottest trend here is AI rules by function. I can ask it, create a script for me. And then it creates the script. The real script is right here. It is such a beautiful script where AI talent is flowing now. The AI market has flipped. There's more hiring now. So all these, you know, like hyping words are right in front of me. It's a very hyped words. I sometimes skim it down and it is right in front of me. And because it's Notion, it is more organized, more structured as compared to I have to find in Claude's project, OpenAI's project, and my content machine is at one place. So that is the key takeaway. This multi-page, like one newsletter has three pages. Now this table is my favorite way to visualize my emails. Next key thing is, let's say you're hiring an editor. All my scripts are here. Let's say I'm hiring a script writer. I can ask it, build a video editor onboarding or script writer onboarding, onboarding manual. What is the information I need to give it to my editor. It's going to create those links in my notebook, make it shareable so I can just send it to my new editor, new content writer. All of it is automated. You can share it. You can make it with Notion AI. The, the connection you get with keeping your mind, second brain or your database in one place and making it shareable with AI, that's just amazing. Next is team meetings. I'm going to take you to my folder called team meeting where all the meetings I've done, whether it's Google Meet, Zoom, I don't want to show you my real meetings. So these are some fake ones. So the idea is all Zoom meetings can be transcribed and saved in Notion in one place. Now what you can do is again, the same drill. With these notes, you can organize 
and delegate to the right person. Below it, figure out what you need to delegate to John, Tim, Mary, and it will create that database clickable with the right resources, right links, and connect the dots right in front of you. When teams become really bigger, it takes a lot of time to find where is that video, where is that script, where is that subtitles. You can bring it all automatically thanks to Notion AI agents. Coming to the principles, your goal should be notes, should not be five, 10 paragraphs. They have to be broad points. And then, you know, just like the mind map I showed you, and then smaller takeaways underneath it. That's why you will be able to remember, retain, and visual. No AI tool can make beautiful mind maps other than this strategy I told you. Because the image generation tool doesn't create good mind maps. You have to use this strategy and this is my favorite one. There is infinite what you can achieve with Notion AI. This is another example of my database of flashcards in Chinese, which I can see as gallery, flashcard, today's 10, which has it, it has fetched by difficulty, like based on how difficult those you know Chinese alphabets are, all the cards, this is a database, all that just created by AI. Overall, you can achieve infinite with Notion AI, but remember, Remember, the first principle approach is you need to think about the bigger takeaways from any notes and then the details in a visual format. Collect your ideas and connect it with those, you know, with, with those mind maps. So do not forget to check out Notion AI with the link in the description below. And thank you so much for watching.